Today we'll be explaining reverse coding on SPSS. Reverse coding is a fairly straight process and, and there are plenty of reasons for you to use a recode process in SPSS but the most common reason is that you have for example a Likert scale with the values ranging from uh, strongly disagree being code 5 to, to strongly agree being code 1 but you realize once you start your uh, analysis that you need that uh, strongly disagree is 1 and strongly agree is 5 so in this case you'll have to recode your variables so I'm going to show you how to do it here um, this data set that I have open here is one that we are going to be using for uh, upcoming videos so I strongly suggest that you download it from our blog. Now, um, we have here uh, 14, 14 items. Seven of these items belong to the competence scale. You can see here, every item that ends with a K belongs to the competence and another seven items belonging to the uh, VERM uh, scale. So, uh, I'm going to show you how to recode these. In this case, we have values um, in this Likert scale ranging from 1, which is stimmt überhaupt nicht, to 7 uh, stimmt extrem. So, we want to be this the opposite. To change this, all you have to do is come to transform, recode into different variables. Now let me change this quickly here only to display variable names and select only the competence items. Okay, now we have this here. We all we have to do is select each item, give it a new name since we are recoding it into a new variable. So in this case I'm going to use uh, exactly the same uh, beginning but I will add RE at the end. The label I'm going to keep exactly the same labels that we have on our original uh, items. So Michael Seltzisha and then you have to click on change. You can see here that the output output variable name has been added here so we have to do this on every variable I'm going to do it off screen and come back when everything's done okay so I have uh, renamed uh, our seven variables into these new names now everything you have to do is after doing this clicking alt and new values and you will be popped out with uh, a new window and here you have to enter the old value in this case 1 and enter the new value 7 this means that now 1 is going to be read at 7 click on add 2 is going to be 6 click on add 3 is 5 4 is 4 5 is 3, 6 is 2, and 7 is 1. So now we have, uh, uh, we are telling the program how to recode our variables, our values from that uh, Likert scale. So click on continue and just um, we can click on OK but I suggest that you use uh, the paste command always because when you use the paste command the program automatically opens the syntax editor so you are able to see the code behind your action and um, also important you can trace every action you do when you run a lot of statistical analysis is it really useful and that you'll be able to trace every single action because sometimes you do something and you forget what you've done so just let's click on paste 
So you can see here uh, the syntax editor um, opened. We have to select the code we want to run. Click on the run selection button and now we can see here in the output window uh, that the action has been executed. Now let's go back to our data uh, editor and as you can see here at the bottom we have now the seven new variables. Now let's click on data view and you can see here the new values. So for example, take the first uh, participant in this um, variable, this person gave a saving. So if everything was okay, now the mic 01k recoded variable should be one. And you can see is one. Why we have here with these two decimals? Because we have here decimals. So you remember in the introductory video, you just have to put it on zero if you want. Let's go back to our data view. And as you can see now, those decimal values are no longer present. So that's how you do a recode in SPSS. Um, in this particular data set, there's no need for us to recode anything, but it uh, was important uh, for you to know how to do our reverse coding. So see you in the next video.